Okay, thankfully no hissy boys around here this time. Oh. Oh, wait, no, we went here last time. Wait. Isn't this where... We're... No, okay, hang on, we haven't been in here. It looks like the same place that was down the end of the corridor. Thank you. All these post-its. Clearance level four. Okay. That's going to take some time. And the other way must come in over there. What else is there to see in here? Collective unconscious. Collective unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. Through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is something in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of something exuded is attracted to the best representation of that image imbuing a single object with massive amounts of power. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. God, I really like how they're doing this. Feeding us little tidbits. As we go. Shatter projectile boost. We still don't have shatter, whatever that is. Okay. That's not the door. <laughs> this is the door. Let's have a quick whiz round the top. Okay, this is where I was before. I didn't go around the other edges of this floor. This is security level one. Hello. Power utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the para utilitarian. Using the something object of power as an example, some para utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of X while others are only capable of, of as little as Y. Okay, that's probably talking about the floppy, floppy disk then. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it's largely believed that some X w exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmoor records, considering he's one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. The Northmoor records. Oh, why is it doing this? It's doing the thing where... There we go. It won't let you move around. Just plus 20% damage. Oh, wait, no. That's what I've got on at the moment. This is... This is... Plus two projectiles fired. Gotcha. Gotcha. When are we going to get to read these? Oh, launch efficiency. Isn't that what we've already got? Is it better? It's the exact same. <laughs> Deconstruct that then. Okay, let's just check all the way around the other side then. And then we can go speak to Emily. Hello. Technological restrictions. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any X signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural whatever for the oldest house to recognise them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become re receptacles for altered status. 
te technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the X to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. X agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Hmm. Okay. Around here. Don't read confidential correspondence. It's not just rude, it's illegal. Can't find your office? No, I want to post it. Watch your step. Hmm. Nothing over here. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside the building. <laughs> that. Oh, hello. Thanking you kindly. Shifted bathroom complaint. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. <laughs> if you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went, Rodriguez. He is a man that needs to take a dump. Can't blame him. Anything? Nothing? Nothing at all? Hmm. All right then. Well, is this the last one? Last but not least, this place? If I walk over here, is it going to still come to me? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. I don't actually have to wait right next to it. No collectibles in here. And then it's down the steps. And over here. Okie doke. Uh, let's link with this one then. Still no outfits. Okay. Uh, whoop. Emily? Jesse. What's up? Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I sure did. Glad. Was this here before? Emily? Let's talk. Of course. Let's talk in just one second. Initial impressions. Analysis of hit hiss threat part one. Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioural facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behaviour. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate that she's already been corrupted, but her behaviour is so in contrast to that of the other Hiss that I've dismissed the theory. That is interesting. That thought had not even crossed my mind. That's why she gets paid the big, big bucks. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the Hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a Hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Maybe the host's physiology becomes reliant on the Hiss. More work to be done. That is an interesting thought. She's dismissed it, so she's probably right, because she's smart. But, maybe the hiss doesn't affect us because we already are infected by the hiss. Maybe this blue thing that sparkles around us is part of the hiss itself? Perhaps? Curiouser and curiouser. Sup. I got the hotline. I can make out what Chunch is saying now. Hotline bling. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. 
The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. Well, you must have built a way to get to the there only you place you can lift the lockdown. lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. There must be a specific way to reach the place that you can lift the override from. Like, you'd have to be a pretty dumb architect to put a override button in a place that cannot be reached while the, while the lockdown is in effect. Hello, Artie. Oh yeah, maintenance looks fine. It was always this green, right? Yeah, it was always this green. Oh boy. Uh, excuse me? Four ability points received. What was that? New mission. Directorial override. Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the nearest control point. Hang on. You've got more to say? Hi, Jesse. Hi. Origin of the... Oh, wait. This is... I've already read all these. Why is she red? Thanks, Emily. She had a red I'm marker sure over her. I'm sure soon. But... Just let me know. They were all things we've already seen. Huh. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? Ah, nowhere. Singing? Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. That'll be arty then. Um, right, yeah, let up ability upgrades. Who's to document the his incantation, she calls it. Yeah. Like in person? In person. With a pencil and paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. I'm sure she's got your best interests at heart. Hi. That's new. Abilities, astral constructs, and board countermeasures. Plus 10% to health, plus 10% to energy, plus 10% to melee, plus 25% to launch. Wow. Uh... Not as exciting as I was expecting. <laughs> There's one, two, three more starting paths over on the right-hand side. Although they do branch out. So although this is damage, it does split off a bit. Milestone rewards. Use three something to unlock additional weapon form slot. Use 15 something to unlock additional personal mod slot. Use 30 to unlock another additional personal mod slot. I have four. What was that? Astral Constructs? Oh. Hello. Oh, undefined reading and house memories are, are like XP stuff or currency. Shatter has high stopping power with a scatter shot that devastate, devastates grouped enemies at close range. Construct a random weapon mod. 
constructs level. Uh, upgrade to enable higher tiered mods, but you need a threshold remnant. Huh. Let's try this shatter then. No weapon forms available. What? Hang on. Hang on. No, not that. Loadout. Huh. But this doesn't... Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's something you can quickly switch between. Damage on low health, projectiles spread, projectiles fired. Let's try that. New mission is... Search for a way into the maintenance sector. The internal lockdown and emergency security measure is stopping Jesse from looking for Trench's missing management team in the other sectors. Jesse sets out to enter the maintenance sector to find the directorial override and lift the internal lockdown. Okay. Hmm. I hope there's an easy way to switch between those. Board countermeasures? A. Survive. This is these like challenges. Kill enemies without dying. You are needed or irreplaceable or replaceable. Agreed. Kill 50 enemies without dying. Strategic target hiss guards. Kill hiss guards. They are minor threats. Squash or tell them off. Kill enemies with melee. You are stronger than or then before. Grip maneuvers. Using grip kill enemies with headshots. Grip or sword or reliable is standard. They won't or will expect it. Weapon maneuvers. Kill enemies with the service weapon in any mode. The service weapon or tool or gift is your responsibility or burden. Oh, you can only accept one at once. Well, they all give common versions. Oh, abandoning it swaps it out. I didn't realise that. Kill enemies using launch. Sure. Let's get some new gun mods, I guess. Headshots, kills, and launch. Okay, finally then, abilities. 10% health, 10% energy, 10% to melee, 25% to launch. Mm. Oh, and these cost. These cost the circle things, of which we have four... And we only need to spend three to unlock an additional weapon form slot, so that's where you can get Shatter now, because I'm about to unlock the ability to switch between them. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Um, launch seems bloody strong. So let's do plus 25% to that. And then let's do plus 50% to that. That costs two, though. Additional weapon form slot unlocked. Good, good. So then... Another 50% on top of that. That's another two. Or launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Hmm. I'm good for now on that. 10% uh, to energy. I'm tempted by health. I'm very tempted by health. But we'll go with energy to begin with. Cool. So now we should have... Uh, I keep pressing the start button when I mean, click the, mean to click the back button. Yeah, okay. Now we have this. Cool. And we have another personal mod, which is just energy plus five. No thank you. Okay, can't pull my gun right here. Is this where we're supposed to go? The sector elevator? It's still pointing at that as the objective, but I think... Uh, you got it, Artie. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. 
You see, though, we keep getting these creepy ass cutscenes of him. Did that. Did his, um. Walkman thing say pony instead of Sony? That would be funny. Okay. Man, so much goes on in this game. <laughs> it's actually. I'm trying to wrap my head around all of it. It's so cool so far, though. I love the world they've created and the story so far. Excellent. Excellent. It's so strange. Like, you feel like you could walk around the corner and anything could happen. I really like that feeling. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. Huh. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Yeah. Is Ati guiding me too? I think he might have done, because that elevator definitely wasn't there before. And instead, a picture of the janitor was there. Yeah, that seems pretty powerful. As opposed to this. Hmm. Find Artie the janitor. My pleasure. Oh man, I just don't want to stop playing. I just don't want to stop playing. I'm going to have to make this the last part of this particular session, which makes me very sad. Because I just want to keep going. It's so good. That's We only have clearance level one, right? Yeah, okay. Thought so. Oh, this is hissed up. Who wants some? You want some? I'll give it ya. The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? Oh yeah, no, no worries. Every little thing gonna be all right. What could possibly go wrong in here? These are just civilians, right? Right? No uckers, as you Australians say. What the hell was that? Did he just teleport? Motherfucker, you teleport? Oh. I need to get headshots. Doesn't help that I can't shoot to save my life. Okay. Shatter recoil efficiency. Well, I haven't tried it out yet because I'm supposed to be getting 10. Uh, oh, ritual impulse. Oh, we've got one of these. Threshold remnant. Okay. Interesting. Recoil. Yeah, I still think that would be better anyway. Not that we're using it yet. We will use it as soon as I get these 10 headshots or whatever it is. Oh, is that it? And the control point? Easy, mate. As I kiss the floor. I'm all about it. Astral constructs, what's new? Cons construct spin. Spin has a generous magazine and a high rate of fire, best used in controlled bursts. You need 15k of those things, 12 ritual impulses and 8 threshold remnants. Okay, it's going to be a while before we get that then. And we could upgrade now? Oh no, we don't have 5k. But aside from that, we could upgrade the mods. But I guess it's a choice between do you want to get mods or do you want to get the actual weapons themselves? And I think it would be better to save up for the actual weapons themselves to start with. And then mods are something you can focus on later. 
That is my immediate opinion, at any rate. Subject to change. I'm so changeable. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh... I jumped a little. Okay, where's that from? Down there? Oh no, literally right there. Oh, there's only five enemies with headshots. It's like at one headshot and one body shot for this very low level dude, which is nice. Oh, actually, they are level two. Hello, we want that. Uh, <laughs> hello? Boom. 10 out of 10 for that. We didn't even, like, take much of a hit. Ritual impulse, very nice. Threshold Remnant, very nice. Okay, they're not that rare then. That's all right. Let's have a good old explore, shall we? Is this the way to go? Yes, that's the way to go. Let's not go that. Did this actually... It didn't actually come towards me. God damn it. I thought I tested this. I thought they would come towards me. Shatter Projectile Boost. Is that... Oh, it's doing the thing again. Why? Well, you can't move around. Strange bug. Ah, oh, they're both plus two. Uh, nothing around there. Wait, did I search? Oh, I can't go through there. Artie, where art thou? Level four. Are you proud of me? I didn't actually check to see that I couldn't do it. I hope you're proud of me. Is there going to be anything worthwhile down here? Or am I completely wasting my time? I'm leaning towards completely wasting my time. Oh! Oh wait, this is just the stairs. Completely wasting my time it is. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Although, wasn't there more stairs? No, I guess not. I thought you could go further up or something. Janitor's office. What's down that way? Unknown? Janitor's office is that way. A merry chase. Investigate the strange light in the break room. What is this, like a side mission? Uh. Okay. That was... I thought that was something bad. Oh my... Okay. Cleanse the merry-go-round horse. Objective power. What? <laughs> Fucking hell, that made me jump. Oh, the walls are cool. Lightly undulating. Oh, this place makes me nauseous. Hello, horsey. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Uh, I don't know. Let's cleanse this bitch.
B to evade. Use evade to complete the astral plane challenge. Oh! The board. The horse or choo-choo allows you to evade or dash. Use it. Prove or escape yourself. Wait, did I fuck up? Hey? Am I getting crushed? Am I doing this wrong? What? Why does it keep resetting me? I guess I just wasn't going far enough forward. A then B to air evade. Cool. Hello. Sir. Hang on. I'm going to bop you. If I can just line you up. Ah, maybe not. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Oh, good. Use B to safely avoid their attacks. Successful or end of it. You have proved your. You and the horse are now bound for life or friends. Let's okay. Just keep up with me now. Merry go round horse. Containment procedure. Object should be kept in confined space when unbound. Description. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when stuff is in its path. The object is currently bound by me. Background. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local people reported that the rides would move on their own and that they would be chased out. When these rumours reached the Bureau, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local people were found dead at the scene. The object attacked Agent someone by slamming into him. Agents invoked Formula C.5 to subdue the object long enough to capture it. Cool. Uh, we've done these, haven't we? I don't know why they're still coming up as red. Pretty sure we've done those. Or maybe you have to turn them in at a new control point, probably. Oh, oh right. It, yeah, the red is because they're done. Go to Central Executive to collect your reward. Oh, specifically Central Executive, not just any control point? But you can fast travel to Central Executive, so that's not a hardship. It just means you have to do a fast travel there and a fast travel back instead of just using the control point you reach. That's a bit strange. New personal mod. Health recovery on element pickup, plus 20%. I've already got a 22% one, so no thanks. Cool. Oh, that's going to be helpful. That's going to be very helpful. Uh, am I going down there? No, I'm going all the way up there. It goes further than you actually realize. That's cool. The light, it burns! Cool. Very cool. <laughs> Hidden location discovered. And I got an ability point for that. Very nice. So flashing red lights can mean new powers. I should bear that in mind for sure. 